what we're going to do today is we're going to start by having a discussion. And what we're going to do is discuss the difference between two positions when thinking about this stuff. The first is ignorance is bliss. So this is kind of thinking about it in terms of a system one approach. You can also think about it in terms of various heuristics and biases that people uh, have. On the other hand, we have the opposite position. Uh, the unexamined life is not worth living. So system two thinking, uh, being critical, thinking carefully about things. And we're going to want you to kind of examine both carefully and we'll talk about those in our small groups before we move on. If you are exposed to bad things in life or you are, um, you know, you're examining different parts of life, mm -hmm. not just your own sort of trivial little world, it makes um, good things that happen to you even better. That brings us kind of like a shallow happiness, but if we overcome or do something about it, then it's better because it's it has more depth. I mean, they're little things, but we could be wrong about the choices that we make. So it's like, we could go through life fairly easily, but we could make better decisions. I, I totally agree with Danny Kahneman in regards to um, just picking a few things to be really quite good at. How many people believe that ignorance is bliss? Keep your hands up. Um, and we're gonna ask you to move to this side of the room. All right, the rest of the people, go to this side, please. Things exist. You know, there is evil in the world, there is, uh, there is good in the world, they exist, whether we, whether we like it or not. How can you not want to know what is there and, 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 and what can go wrong and what can't go wrong and what is possible and what is impossible? Not knowing and being happy is better than knowing and not. Knowing what we know about representativeness and availability heuristics and all these other things in System 1, that's where racism and sexism and all, all of these other sort of stereotypes we, um, we create are made. Like system two thinking seems to be the only thing that can challenge that, where you can actually think about things on a deeper level and and affect change. People, I think we like to think that we're more analytical and, and deeper than perhaps we are. And if, you know, you might really believe in something, but what information are you relying on? So how do we know that the information that we're using is necessarily true or, you know, evidence of one side? All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is everyone on this side, stand up. Everyone on that side, stand up and swap places. Are you happy knowing that someone can change the answer you're about to give by giving you a different anchor? Acquiring of the knowledge would make me quite unhappy, so I'd be happier just not knowing that these anchors exist, you know, just being blissful and like, I don't know that people are uh, manipulating me or I don't know that people are um, trying to push me in X or Y direction. Like the video that we saw in episode four, Daniel Kahneman even said that this course is gonna do nothing for us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was quite satisfied with my life before knowing about the process. <laughs> if we only listen to system one, we make wrong decisions. We make quick decisions that aren't necessarily correct problem-solving decisions. Danny Kahneman's like one of the biggest victims for System 1 because his thinking of this course can't improve your thinking. He might be totally missing out on improving his thinking and that entire school of thought just because he's choosing to be ignorant of other people's divergent thinking. I just think it's really important to know what's going on in our heads even if we can't control it. 